Welcome back to North by Northeast. I'm with Stefan Mullins, the owner of Red Buffalo Pottery out of Sheridan, Wyoming. And we're going to be talking about how a local boy from Wyoming has been able to get across the nation. Stefan, you can talk a little bit about, uh, first of all, what kind of inspired you to get into making pottery. So I think I've, I was kind of like most people that get into it in high school. <clears throat> and it wasn't the most important thing to me in high school. And then so I kind of did some stuff, traveled a little bit, went to school. But then I fell into the art field and it just kind of felt right, but uh, I had a high school teacher actually who made the comment like, hey, you have some real skill, you should think about this. And so that eventually kind of led to me thinking, oh, this could be a viable option. And so I went to college uh, at the University of Wyoming and I thought that sculpture was it and I was gonna go <laughs> yeah. and I wanted to do these big things and it took me a few years to at the end, I got into ceramics, and it's just something I fell in love with. And let's talk a little bit about how do you get it to go from just a simple piece of clay from the ground all the way to what we see here on the table. Yeah, so it's kind of amazing. You can go out and like just dig this stuff up from the ground, and it's just a lump of clay. <laughs> just dirt. Yeah, just basically dirt and sand. And um, So I take it, <clears throat> and I get it out of a box, but you could just go dig it up and strain it, and uh, that's kind of a cool process on its own, but take it out of the box and I have to cut it. And then I, it comes in 25 pound bags and I cut that bag up. <clears throat> so for a cup, I use about a pound of clay. And then I wedge it and wedging it is just like aligning all the clay particles together. So when you throw it on the wheel, they, it's really smooth. Okay. And so I'll take that, <clears throat> throw it on the wheel. And so it takes me close to about five minutes to throw one cup, take that off and Clay is all about timing, and so with clay, you have to, I just can't take it off of the wheel and, like, put a handle on it and put it in the kiln or it would explode. Yeah, it's not it, like the movie Ghost where everything just happens just yeah, so nice and as smooth. as nice as yeah. that is. <laughs> oh, I got my wife. Uh, that's not true. Anyway, and so once you get it off of the wheel, you have to let it dry enough that you can put a handle on it. And then once you put the handle on it, you have to let it dry enough that it won't explode into the kiln. And then on some of my cups... I use my stamp, but then I have to, I have to trim it, and so I can't trim this when it's wet, or I'll just puncture through the hole of the cup. So I have to wait enough time. But on some of these other mugs, <clears throat> I use a different process to take it off of the wheel, and you basically use like a little stretchy, uh, like a spring that's stretched out, and it'll get these really nice, cool decorative grooves in there. Um, but if I do any of that too soon. It ruins it, so you have to wait maybe a day, and then you have to wait another day, and then you put it in the kiln, and a kiln firing takes about anywhere from like 11 to 14 hours, and that's how long it takes to heat up, but then that same amount of time it takes that to cool down. So if I open it up when it's at, you know, 2300 degrees... These, you won't have a face. Yeah, I won't have a face, <laughs> It'll just, you know, and things explode and pop and crack, yeah. so you have to wait on that, and that's just for bisking, and then... I take those out and the glazing process like this cup um i use what's called an underglaze first and then i put something over top of that and i wipe it away and then i glaze it and so that process too is really time consuming it so each cup it's around 25 minutes of just making time per cup yeah and so in terms of like if i went to a craft show um and I want to sell like 100 cups, each one of those take 25 minutes. It's a huge time investment. And then I make these little trout cups um, and I like my little red buffalo in there, but each one of these dots I do individually. And so I have to sit and boop, 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 boop. Yeah, put each one on basically. Yeah, and put each one on, and which is cool and it's really fun process, but um, it's, it's so frustrating because I could spend all the time in the world throwing the best pot. I'm like, oh man, I made this great vase. And then when I'm done with it and I do a bad job glazing or something happens in the firing, like you could make the best thing on the wheel and you glaze it bad and it's ruined. So yeah. each part of the process is really, really important. And time staking and meticulous. Yeah, and I used to not even think. Like I was like, ah, glazing's all right. I don't really like it. But You just dip it. Yeah, you don't good. worry yeah. about it. Yeah, and so now it's like... You have to be in tune with this is just as important as every other really important part. And so that's been kind of fun and interesting to get to that st stage because 
um, I was really, I make my own glazes. And so the browns was really important to get the right brown and the yellow was really important to get the right yellow. And um, I'm still kind of messing with this, but I'm trying to get the brown trout colors. And so I want this really nice kind of milky, fady green to go into this nice yellow. And I'm about there with those, but I still have some experimenting to do. It's kind of a nice smooth gradient down the whole cup. Yeah, you know, and so it's like finding these little things that look and feel right and people want to hold. And I think with functional ceramics, that's what people has to do. They want like, to make sure their fingers can fit in the, yeah, the, right. the handle. Yeah, because you have bigger hands than I do. And so a handle that feels comfortable to me, you're not going to want to use. And like, I want people to really enjoy my stuff, which is important. Now let's talk about if people do want to get your work, what type of <clears throat> pots and plates and stuff like that can they order from you? Yeah, I actually do a whole range of uh, kind of whatever people are interested in. I do a lot of custom orders. I just got done with the full piece set. I think it was a full eight piece, large dinner plates, small dinner plates, bowls, cups. I'll do a pitcher. Part of that is a salad bowl, a chip and dip bowl, a large serving tray. And that was just one full custom order. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, lot of, you, that's a lot of pieces. Yeah, it was sweet. And so those kinds of things are really great. But I do a lot of small, um, like just small cups or small four or, you know, small piece sets like that. And I also know you use uh, a specific type of uh, glaze on them or that you can drink out of them. And I think they're dishwasher safe, correct? Yeah, everything's dishwasher safe and oven safe. And uh, I actually got really lucky. I used the, the bucking horse and rider symbol. Uh, so let's say um, for those that would like specific logos and designs, like I know you also do just buffaloes and cowboys and stuff like that. Is there yeah. a specific way that they can contact you directly, like through an email? Or just go to your website, your Facebook, and they can directly contact you there ordering shipments or artwork? Yeah, so I have a friend who, uh, he has a little gallery, and so he wants to have his logo put onto a cup. And so I'm just starting to figure that out. But if you just want to go to my, uh, you can go to my website, which is redbuffalopottery.org. You can check me out on Facebook, which is Red Buffalo Pottery. Instagram, it's Red Buffalo Pottery. Um, and that all links to my email address, which is redbuffalopottery at gmail.com. But an email works really well, and I get it on my phone, and it's it's super easy to communicate. Yeah, definitely. So, I think uh, I've covered a little bit about everything so far. If there anything else you want to add? I think it's great that I can work in the state of Wyoming and really showcase Wyoming through pottery. And uh, it's really given a lot to me, and it's great to give a little back. So. All right. Well, thank you very much, Stefan. Yeah, thank you. That's great.